They're ganging up on Donna like that is inexcusable and uh, not to mention hypocritical. Hypocritical? Oh. Well, they showed up at your wedding out of respect for their father, and now you think this behavior is making them hypocritical? Yes, I do, exactly. I thought their showing up at the wedding was at least a grudging acceptance by the family, but now I see that I was being naive once again. You do know how much this company means to our children. No more than it means to me, which is exactly why I'm excited about what Donna brings to this company. Her business acumen. That will come in time. But our children are determined not to give her that chance. Well, you know, I, I think you should try and see it from their point of view. They perceive her to be an interloper. They think she's going to bring a scandal down on our heads. Well, she's not. There will be no surprises. I trust my wife completely. I know you do. And I'm happy that you're happy. And I mean that. Are you asking me to negotiate a ceasefire with you and the children? They all want you here, running this company. And they want Donna not here at all. How do you feel? Come in. Mom, hi. Uh, Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> sweetheart. Hey, neighbor. Ashley. Are you enjoying your new digs? Uh, uh, well, you know. I'm tired of being a beach bum already. <laughs> well, it's those, you know, magnificent sunsets every night in that ocean. It's wearing a little thin. I asked Stephanie here to uh, talk to you all about your attitudes about Donna, how hell-bent you are on pushing her out of the company when she could be a real asset here. Unfortunately, you and I are the only ones who believe that, Eric. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry to hear that, too. Dad, Thorn and Felicia and I have worked most of our adult lives to make this place a success. Brooke has contributed enormously to that effort, and so has Ashley in the short time she's been here. We'd like that to continue. We just don't know where we stand with you. You cast mother aside, you have a new young wife, you know she's going to want kids. I don't know anything of the sort. Then you've discussed it? No, no, we haven't. Not yet. Well, she does, and why wouldn't it? Your loyalties will even be more divided then. Look, I can assure you, uh, Donna hasn't even hinted at wanting to have children. I mean, she's really not the maternal type. You know, I have to say something. I think people may have thought that about me as well, and... Well, I wouldn't trade Abby for anything in the world. I'm sure not. But look, I can assure you all that there's not going to be any more children cropping up in this family. Look, I'm sorry if you don't like the woman I've married. But I love her, and I want her to be a part of what I've built here. Dad, we all cherish this company as much as you do. How long have I worked here? Thorne and Felicia put in their time as well. But for you to insist that we make room at the top now for someone we don't get along with, who has such little experience is You're not just... thinking like a businessman, Daddy. Look, Dad, if you want to spend time with Donna, do it. Take a trip around the world. Have a second honeymoon. Enjoy life. I mean, you've had an amazing career. Reap the rewards. You know... Eric, my dad, got so much enjoyment out of his new marriage. And we didn't care that much for his new wife, but he loved her. And in retrospect, I'm so happy they had that time together. Wait a minute. Are you all suggesting that your father should be put out to pasture? Oh, my God. Dad, it's time for a change of the guard. Meaning you. My work has been the hallmark of this company for years. Are you suggesting that I haven't contributed? Oh, of course they're not suggesting that. Your last collection was a triumph, so why not go out on top? Oh, I get it. So you all feel that it's time for the old man to uh, acknowledge the fact that he's had his last hurrah, and it's time for him to go to the old designer's home. Is that it, Dad? It's like Thorne said. Why not reap the benefits of your hard work? So the young gun is ready to step forward. Is that what you're saying? I have been your heir apparent for decades. It's now time for Thorne and Felicia and I to take control of this company. What about you two? Are you this angry with me too? Yeah. I love you, okay? We all do. And I want to work here with you, but not with Donna. And that goes for the rest of us. He's right. 
Daddy, I love you. But you can't have it both ways. Mother has asked us all to try, and you know what? We have. We've tried. But being forced to coexist with Mother's replacement, we're all going to be at each other's throats, and Forrester Creations will go under, and we can't let that happen. For the sake of our family, and for the sake of your legacy, someone has to walk away. And that someone is me. Well, just a moment. Let's not forget, your father owns this company now, outright. True. But where would he be if we left? You'd leave? Those of us who can't stand working with that woman. Does that include you, Ashley? <sighs> Erica, I love my job and I absolutely adore working with you. I really do. I have my doubts about Donna's credentials. I'm sorry. I am not going anywhere. I belong here at Forrester. You absolutely do. I spent way too much time, too much of my tenure fighting battles that I didn't think were necessary. And I don't want to have a repeat. Here, here. Just as I don't want Donna to have to suffer the same kind of dirty politics that I did. All we want is for what's best for the company, Dan. If that means you step down and ride off into the sunset with your beautiful new I'm not going to ride, ride off into some sunset, Rich. You said earlier that you don't know where you stand with me. I love you. I love all of you. And I understand that you want what's best for this company. The future of this company. I get it. Well, I love my wife, too. And I trust her, and I trust her so much that I'm willing to make a deal here. What kind of deal? If Donna brings shame down on this family or this company, I will step aside and Ridge can take over. I trust my wife that much. 